Let's go straight to the top story at this hour. U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo will be visiting India today. Now, this visit is expected to strengthen ties between the oldest and the largest democracies amidst the changing world order. Pompeo last visited uh, India in September of 2018 for the 2 plus 2 dialogue between the then Indian defense and foreign ministers with their American counterparts. Now, our principal diplomatic correspondent, Sidhan Sibyl, brings you details of the visit. As Prime Minister Modi said in his latest campaign, he said, Modi high to Mumpkin high. Modi makes it possible. With this mantra, U.S. Secretary of State Michael Pompeo embarks on a three-day visit to India from 25th to 27th June. This will be the first high-level visit to India after the elections. And according to India's Ministry of External Affairs, will be an important opportunity for both sides to explore ways to further strengthen the India-U.S. strategic partnership. Both are working together on Indo-Pacific strategy and increasing defense and security engagement. But thorny issues remain, with Washington threatening a cap on H-1B visas and expressing its worry to India on data localization or use of data of a country's citizens. While on data localization, India would like to dispel any misconceptions. On H-1B visa, spokesperson of MEA had this to say. We remain engaged with the U.S. administration. We remain engaged with the Congress on this issue. We have emphasized time and again at all our high-level interactions the contribution of Indian professional, Indian skilled professional to the growth and development of the U.S. economy. U.S. is also prodding New Delhi on Huawei, with the U.S. asking countries to not use China back and base Huawei products. But New Delhi has made it clear that any decision will be guided by economic and security interests. Earlier this month, U.S. ended Generalized System of Preference, which is a trade preference program for developing countries, including India. India was the largest beneficiary of GSP in 2017 and was able to export $5.7 billion worth of Indian goods to the U.S. duty-free. Washington, meanwhile, has been backing India on the issue of cross-border terror and along with France and the U.K., helped in the listing of Masood Azhar as an international terrorist by the UNSE. The visit by the U.S. Secretary of State Mike Pompeo comes just days before Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi meets U.S. President Donald Trump on the sidelines of the G20 summit in Osaka, Japan on 28th and 29th. From trade to security to defense, both India and U.S. have understandings but also differences of opinion. It's not a perfect marriage, but both are willing to make sure and put in efforts so that this becomes a perfect and workable one. With video journalist Sujoy Sidhan Sibbal for Vion in New Delhi.